Hi, this is Adam Goldberg, co-founder and chief innovation officer at Clear Sailing. Today we're going to take a part in our second part of our 10-part blog series on the Attribution Management Buyer's Guide. Uh, the focus of today is, is the technology uh, that you're working with capable of tracking the product and or services that are actually sold? Now, in our last series on the attribution variables that we looked at, we talked that there are really three variables that you can attribute across the team of ads responsible for a sale. Those being conversion credit, revenue, and profit. Now, profit is the one that we said was the optimal to get to as it tells you the most realistic story of the performance of those ads. But in order to get to profit, you would also need to be able to understand not just that a sale occurred with a revenue amount, but that a sale occurred, the revenue amount, and the products and or services that were sold. Because to get to real profitability, you need to apply at least the margin of the goods that were sold, or better yet, the cost of goods sold to get a true profit calculation. So the critical question that you need to ask any attribution management vendor out there is, are you able to track the products and services that I sold in addition to the revenue that's earned? And if they can do that, then you definitively know that you're gonna be able to calculate profit by applying the retail price of the goods that you sold, subtracting from that the cost of those goods to yourself, applying any tax or shipping rules, and then deducting the cost of the team of ads that led to that conversion. By doing so, we'll provide you with a real profit figure that you can then attribute across your ads, giving you the best data point available to make decisions on whether or not ads work or not. In addition to that, there's another advantage of being able to see products or services sold. And that is that you will then be able to track the trending of these products. Am I selling more of this product or less of this product, which can help you to make merchandising and, and uh, inventory decisions. And then secondly, by being able to see those products that are sold, you'll be able to run reports or analytics um, to determine that, hey, when people buy product A, they're often also buying product B. So this gives you an opportunity to identify cross-sell and upsell opportunities that might be available as well. I again am Adam Goldberg, co-founder and chief innovation officer at Clear Sailing. This is the second part in our 10-part series on the Attribution Management Buyer's Guide. Please stay tuned for additional um, features in this series as we'll address the rest of what's important in looking to buy an attribution management platform. Thank you.